First, we express our deep gratitude to the friendly and brotherly nation of South Africa, which initiated this call at the International Court of Justice. We also thank all the countries that supported this South African step. As Palestinians, we have always appealed to international justice to take its course and to be realized on Palestinian soil. We have always said that the crimes committed by the occupying state in Palestine and now on the land of the Gaza Strip must not go unnoticed and Israel must be held accountable. We saw the decision of the International Court of Justice after deliberations that lasted about three weeks. We consider what was issued by the court as a partial victory for the Palestinian people. It is a step forward. True, it may not be sufficient and did not meet all demands, but we consider it a step in the right direction. We say that Israel and the crimes it commits, not only in these days, but also over the years of this long occupation since 1948 and until now, are crimes that should not become obsolete and must be tried and held accountable. Israel is now in a corner. The whole world listened to what the court said and presented in terms of reasons and facts, which largely confirmed what South Africa went to in its lawsuit against the occupying state. And much of the evidence presented by South Africa in its case and in its call to support the Palestinian people was adopted. Therefore, we as Palestinians welcome what was issued by the International Court of Justice. And we ask the court to continue its work because what was issued only relates to urgent procedures. The ur urgent procedures associated with the developments of the current field situation. But there are many crimes that need to be verified, including the crimes committed by Israel against the Palestinian people, including ethnic cleansing crimes. This topic is one of the issues addressed by the International Court of Justice in its decision, emphasizing the need for Israel to take all necessary measures to ensure the entry of relief and humanitarian aid to our people in the Gaza Strip. Now Israel is on trial in this aspect and must respect the court's decision and lift all restrictions it has imposed on the entry of relief and humanitarian aid since the beginning of this aggression. Aid is piling up at the ports and airports of Arish, and Israel is letting this aid in very slowly, meaning it allows the entry of very limited number of trucks, only meeting about 8% of the needs of the population of the Gaza Strip. Therefore, the court's decision on this matter is clear, and Israel must respect this decision. Also, the international community, its countries, and specialized organizations must monitor and ensure Israel's compliance with this decision. Clearly, Israel is intent on continuing its war, continuing its aggression. There are no signs that Israel is nearing the cessation of this aggression. All statements issued by Israeli politicians indicate that this aggression will continue, and they have plans in this regard that could extend the execution operation to six months more or less. But indicators suggest that Israel will continue this aggression. This requires the international community to take responsibility and exert maximum pressure on Israel to stop this aggressive war, this crazy war it wages against trees, stones, and people in the Gaza Strip. Where the main target and the first to suffer are the civilians among our people in the Gaza Strip.